Jerry, do you take Michelle in the presence of these witnesses and according to the laws of this state to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. <laughs> Michelle, do you take Jerry in the presence of these witnesses and according to the laws of this state to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And as I stand here today, I am so completely overwhelmed with happiness for Jerry, Michelle, and the kids. Never have I ever met a more deserving couple. Now, I didn't know who Jerry was prior to them dating. So naturally, when Michelle came to me and said she met this great guy, I was, I was pretty skeptical. I guess you can say I'm a bit overprotective, but especially over Michelle. And not because she can't hold her own. Because anyone that knows her knows you never want to get on her bad side. <laughs> So when I finally did meet Jerry, I was put at ease. His kind nature and easygoing personality reminded me a bit of the man I love, my husband. And the more I got to know him, I quickly realized that he was her match. And not because they are the same, because they're actually quite opposite. <laughs> but, yes. But because, Jerry, you balance her out. You are the yin to her yang. And together, you are beautiful. You share the same dreams, visions, and together always aspire more. Dear Jerry, today I realize the reason I love you the most is because you love me for who I am, not for what I do. It's not how pretty I make myself, it's not about how hard I tried or how well I did, although you notice those things. I know that none of that makes a difference on your measure of love for me. And that's the most beautiful thing of all. It takes a real man to love me the way you do. To love me on the good days when I'm all dolled up, kissing you and laughing, and also on the bad days when I'm hollering on the couch in my yoga pants and my messy hair. I know that you love me for me. And I want you to know that I love you for you. Not for what you do, but for simply being you. Our life will be amazing as long as I get to spend each day letting you love me and me love you. I promise to always leave my spit cups around the house. I promise to mysteriously take three hours to run an errand. I promise to listen to your advice and usually take it. I pledge to always admire you your huge, strong, kind, and determined heart. I pledge that I will love you. I vow to watch in awe as you kick ass and take names. I vow to be your dear squad on the days it feels too much. I believe that carefully folded towels make you happy. I believe there is no time or place I'm more content than when you're close. Because of this and so, so much more, I believe that I will always love you. I'm proud to take you as my husband. For all the time we've been together, there's always been the kind of mutual understanding which is only shared when there is true love. You've helped me triumph over challenges presented, encouraged my personal growth, and boosted my self-esteem. You've helped me become the person I am today. And I was yesterday. I vow to trust and value your opinion and stand by your actions. I pledge to always treat you as my best friend and equal. I will ask for your help when I need it and offer help to you always. Let us be friends and lovers and grow old disgracefully together.
with this union of hearts and hands and by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, by the laws of the great state of Texas, in the name of Almighty God our Father, I pronounce you husband and wife. Let us bow this afternoon. Fathers, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for these two special people. I thank you, God, that you have allowed them to come into my life to even enrich my life, Father. And I thank you that many that sit in this crowd, if not all, can say the same thing. I thank you, Father, that you're going to bless them and continue as this family comes together as one, Lord God, and it continues as one. I thank you that blessing overtakes them in every way. We give you honor, praise, and glory for your presence that's here at this occasion today because all hearts are made happy because of the love we see in this precious couple. We give you glory and praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, you may kiss your bride. It's all about wow. Love. Wow. And now may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Krokgaard. life I've searched for many things I think we all do that thing that like fills our soul completes us the way that nothing else ever will Jerry I love you things that you did you never knew you did the love for Ava the love for your family the love for my family and all of those, those things that you did, just being you, that brought us here today. And I thank you. Because if I died tomorrow, I'd die the happiest woman in the world. 